Uh, how are you over there? My name is Patrick Kamau uh, Kamure. You are lecturer in taxation. Uh, welcome to today's lesson of public finance and taxation, where we continue uh, uh, looking at the taxation of the business income, where if I can give you a, a little of recap of what we did, is that um, we say that there are three businesses that we need to see how they are taxed. One of them is the, uh, is the sole proprietorship, the other one is the partnership, and the third one is the limited company. In our uh, 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 previous lesson, we did the taxation of the sole proprietorship. So for today, we want to go to the next business, which is the taxation of the, of the partnership. So partnership is where we have two or more people who come together to do business together. And they don't register their business as a company. Because of that, we normally say that partnership do not have a separate legal entity from the owners. And that will mean that when you are taxing the partnership, you tax the partners themselves, not the partnership itself, because it is not separate from the partners. They are partners and the business, they are one and the same thing. So now we want to see how do we normally tax the, the partnership business. First of all, I want to write over there uh, the introduction or definition of the partnership as I've illustrated. So we have partnership is a business owned by one, uh, by two or more people uh -huh. which is not registered as a company and so does not does not have a separate legal entity. That is the definition of the partnership. But our objective or goal is to know how we usually tax them the partnership business. So these are the items that you need to consider when you are taxing the partnership business. So areas to consider, or items to consider, Require taxing partnership business. Number one, determination of taxable income. determination of taxable income and say this is done using either or a gross profit method or number two net profit method. What we are saying is that when you are determining the taxable income of the partnership, uh, just like other business and as we introduced earlier on when you are introducing to the taxation of the business today, any business, when you are determining the taxable income, you either use the gross profit method or net profit method. So the same criteria apply to the taxation of the of the partnership. You either use the gross profit method or net profit method to get the taxable income. Uh, we have Roman 2. Another items that you need to consider when you are determining taxable income of the partnership or taxing the partnership is the following expenses. Are not allowable in part 
partnership. I.e. salary to the partner to partners interest on capital interest on capital from partners uh, to the partners sorry to the partners commission and bonuses to partners drawings by partners and any and any private expense of the partners that is the second thing that you need to know that those expenses when they are incurred by the partnership they are considered to be non-allowable expenses salary to the partners interest on capital bonuses uh, the commission the drawings in short we are saying any expense relating to the partner like private expenses of the partner we don't allow them when you're determining the taxable income the third one that you need to consider uh -huh, the following incomes are non-taxable incomes in partnership i.e. what are those incomes that are not taxable interest on drawings profit on goods sold to partners mm -hmm. and any other income any other income from partners that's another thing that when you're determining the taxable income of the partnership if there's any income that the partnership received from the partners we treat it as non-taxable this you hear like interest on drawings like when the partner withdraw anything from the partnership like goods the cash they charge interest that is an income to the partnership but it is usually not taxable another thing is like sometimes they can have a provision or the partners have can have a provision that if a person uh, uh, if a person want to buy goods from the business can buy and they are going to be charged a, a profit like any other customer so that profit is not taxable in the in the partnership and any other income that the partnership may get from the from the partners the fourth one is the income distribution schedule distribution schedule what does that mean once the taxable income once taxable income of partnership is determined It is distributed to partners using income distribution schedule where they bear individual tax burden they are taxed individually at graduated scale rates in the same way 
as employment income. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After after the distribution. The gross tax. The gross tax once determined. Then set offs such as personal relief, insurance relief, and withholding tax on investment incomes. are deducted income distribution schedule schedule has the following format So what we are saying is that um, about the income distribution schedule, once the taxable income of the partnership is determined, either using the gross profit or the net profit, uh, we tax the income on the partners themselves. And we tax them at graduated scale rates. Graduated scale rates is the same as the employment income, the way we taxed the, the sole proprietorship. Where once you distribute to the partners, because the partners are the ones who bear the tax burden, you tax them individually. It is partner A, how much is the taxable income? Tax individually at graduated scale rates. Partner B, how much is the taxable income? Tax them individually. And then once you get the gross tax of each partner, you raise the set of Set off, we said that they reduce the actual tax they are supposed to pay. And they are like personal relief, the withholding tax on investment income, and insurance relief if they have life insurance cover, education insurance cover, or NHIF. Now, I want to show you how the distribution is done through the income distribution schedule or allocation schedule. So it has this format income distribution. stock allocation schedule. We start by distributing the taxable operating income And then we list the partners, partner A, we are assuming partners are A, B, and then we have a quorum for the totals. Shillings, shillings, shillings. So, the taxable operating income you would have determined using either gross profit method or net profit method, you can distribute it this way. The first one is usually the salary. So, salary to partners. If partners have the salaries, if this one had a salary you put there, this one, and the total. The next one is interest on capital. Interests on capital. So interest on capital for this partner, for this one, and this, if there is any. Then commission or bonus. You put on this, this, and this. After that, those three are the ones that you usually post. If there is the commission or bonus, interest on capital, salaries to the partners. Then you less interest on drawings. 
interest on drawings. So interest on drawings here, you less, if anybody will do the goods and they will charge interest there. Now, after you have distributed those one, the taxable operating income you'd have determined, you minus what you have distributed, minus this, minus this, minus this, but this one you add. Then whatever remains you share according to the profit sharing ratio, we call it profit share, a shared according to profit sharing ratio. So you come, how much is this? This total. And then after that, get the total taxable operating operating income. Total taxable operating income means we take the salary, the interest on capital, if there is commission or bonus, raise interest on doing profit share, you get the total here. You do the same for this, you do the same for that. Now, you have just distributed the operating income. Then you add taxable investment income. Taxable investment incomes shared according to profit sharing ratio. sharing ratio. So, if you have something like rent, non-qualifying dividend, non-qualifying interest, royalty, all those, remember, withholding tax is not final. You come and share here according to the profit sharing ratio. This one, this one, total. And then now from there, you can get total taxable income. Total taxable incomes which will take the operating income plus investment to get the total operating plus investment operating plus investment there and now if you are asked about now taxing getting the tax payable by partners you will tax this one a individually on this using the graduated skills the way we tax them a sort of proprietors income the same case this one a b tax on this one to get the tax they are supposed to pay. So that is what you need to know when you are taxing the partnership business. And from there now, I would want us to look at a question. So I read the question, then I'll show you how it is solved or computed. This is what the question says. 